as we can see, and inconsistencies can ruin the immersion or, or, or and lower our enjoyment of of the show. I I think uh, in in this context, I'm reminded of shows that are based on uh, literature, on books such as uh, Lord of the Rings. You know, in some countries there were multiple translations. Um, of the Lord of the Rings, and then when you're subtitling a, a film or a TV series that's taking place in this universe um, of the Lord of the Rings, and there are new productions now by Amazon, for instance, uh, I can imagine if you don't use the right terminology from the books, and that, that can involve actually selecting the right translation, because there may be multiple translations, as I said, the fans can be outraged. Um, I, I, some time ago, I uh, saw some posts on social media. There was an event with actors from the Games of Thrones, and it was translated live, the, not, the, not the TV series, but the, the event, the, the premiere. And the fans were outraged that the translators or, or interpreters, uh, in that case, they did not use the right terminology uh, which was used when translating the, the TV series. And I also attended an event uh, that uh, when the Witcher series was launched and, and it was a live event and also there was a need for translation. And uh, I remember that multiple translators, when they were uh, approached about interpreting that event, they were afraid because they didn't know their books by Andrzej Sapkowski on which The Witcher is based and they were afraid they will not use the right terminology and uh, uh, fans will go after them. So uh, we can see how consistency can be important in all sorts of uh, projects. Now, uh, it's a challenge to ensure consistency. You've already given tips to subtitlers and to uh, LSPs to content owners and how on steps they can take. Uh, one such step is obviously good subtitle revision or good QC or QA uh, quality control or quality assurance process. Um, can you now perhaps discuss the role of quality assurance? How can it help in maintaining consistency? I think you already said the most important thing. If if a project manager definitely needs to divide a material between several translators, translation is usually more time consuming than QC. And maybe perhaps it is possible to assign one QC to the entire material so that there is at least one person who can see the entire text and has some knowledge and context and power over the entire text and can introduce changes that might be necessary because uh, the translators um, did not, um, I don't know, maybe the, either they did not communicate with one another or maybe even they did, it's still possible that, you know, something was missed uh, or they were unaware that something is repeated elsewhere in the text and kind of like the story with the letter. And it just, these, these things are very difficult to foresee beforehand. And even if you want to prepare your translators as best as you can, you cannot foresee everything. And that's why a good QC, one person who has no, the, who knows the entire context can can, can solve all such problems and um, correct any mistakes that are that are bound to happen. 